Hello and welcome back. I am Arumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more of our campaign in Europe Universalis 4. Common Universalis as Desmond, hopefully soon to be Ireland. How are we looking on that? Form the Irish nation. We need Admin Tech 10. That is it. Cool. All right. Well, it's a little ways off. Let's uh, see if we can make that happen. I sold one of my transports to Gildum so that hopefully he can move his army up to here if he's going to have serious issues. Looks like he's going to have some serious issues. Um... He's going to have an 8k stack there. Alright, I'm going to ferry... They're going to... Um, they're going to rebel in Shetland, right? Or that one province? Orkney and Shetland. 3 and 3. Okay, well let's put them on the island because if they... If they rebel out there, then I can't get there with one transport. But if they rebel here, I can slowly ferry them back to Sutherland. I'll try to help them out. Okay, and... I wanted to get a royal marriage here. Everyone's beating up on Novgorod, wow. I'm surprised Novgorod even exists, honestly. I mean, he, uh... He should have been killed a long time ago. Our heir is 16, looks decent. Yearly corruption's decent. Okay, we got rid of the disaster. We could take Diplotech. It's gonna be a long time until I can actually do uh, colonization, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take this tech. I would like to have the ahead of time bonus for the extra like trade efficiency, I guess. I don't know. Just being ahead of time tends to be pretty good. It's a shame that we didn't get those cores back, because we could integrate Cumbria right now. Maybe we'll get lucky and he'll mothball a fort and let me, uh, let me jump on him. I mean, murdering all of his cannons was amazing. It was so good. Those eight cannons were worth, like, what, eight times ten would be eighty, so eight times thirty is like two hundred forty ducats. I mean, he almost lost more in that than he did in the actual concession of gold in the peace deal. Okay, anyone want to be an ally? An ally? We could get an alliance with Burgundy right now. Negative 20 with Aragon. We ally Burgundy. I'd say... I mean, he's looking pretty strong. He has not lost any land of France yet. Amazingly, they're adjacent to each other, and they they don't even really want each other's land, and they're not rivals. How did that happen? I guess Burgundy's kind of strong. Okay, well, we'll take it. We got the slot. Let's do it. Third rival? Yeah, okay. I'm good with that. One point six years to get our troops over there. I am thirty six and Burgundy is one. Okay. Nice. A couple workshops have completed. Um most of my buildings see it says zero, but we can still build it there. Not funny. Alright, workshop maybe in pale possibly? No, it doesn't make a lot of sense there. Okay, I want to do... Mills? And churches, even though they don't have a direct, immediate looking benefit. Let's get those going in the two uh, that don't have very many slots open. And then roads are going to have to go everywhere else for now. Let's start with wherever's going to give us the most which is going to be in our capital. And I'm not going to wait for the event. I'm just going to just going to get the buildings going now. Do we want to run any edict in the capital? Let's see. For 0.2 ducats, I could have more trade power. All right, that'll probably make a difference. 
give it one month so that the workshops can have their effect. And see if we make 0.2 ducats extra off of that. Okay, never mind. I, I am actually I am gonna run the uh, the development edict in the capital. I'm gonna spend money on on an edict in the cap in the capital. I, I think I'd rather it just be that. Try to make Sweden like me. Protect against Denmark. I think we care more about the the Swedish improved relations thing. That sounds good. Enemy of enemies, great. Okay. Governance efficiency is changing again, for some reason. Right on inflation. <clears throat> Diplomatic expenses. Send officers to guild them. Ah, yes, he trained that one troop. Do we need to do that? Not really. Okay, that only made like a one hundredth of a ducat in difference. Let's not deal with that. I love having marches. I, I really, I think marches are great. Uh, he's got a big issue with finances here. That fort's hard for him to maintain. I think he's got it mothballed, does he? No. Okay. What are you building? He's good. How do you afford a road? Wow. Impressive. All right. This rebellion, I think, can't be put down. Like, it's going to fire. So, I might as well keep my maintenance low until it's about to fire and then turn the maintenance up. Raising maintenance a little lower unrest by like 5% and just slow the whole thing down. Keep me at full maintenance longer. Okay. see. Alright, population growth has happened in a lot of places recently. We've had it happen in most of the country. Uh, this one's uh, about four years away. I remember when I first saw that those numbers and I was thinking like, oh god, it's like it's gonna be like 400 years. Well, yeah, you, just, you gotta, gotta build some more buildings and get some other modifiers and stuff and then it kind of goes faster. Why do we have unrest? High tax rate, collected special tax, corruption, pulled by the burgers. Yes, that's right, the burgers are still pissed. Hmm. We're ahead of time on military tech. I'm gonna boost legitimacy. Try to get unrest down a little bit. Unrest, I like this, by the way. Unrest directly affects local commercial tax modifier. So, not only does it affect you know, everything else, and there's a chance that there could be a rebellion, but it, it makes sense to police your territory and, and stuff like that. It's nice. We're supposed to have two forts, and we have none. Alright, how about the devastation? Devastation in... I, from me scorching it. I had to do it, though. Just preventing me from getting any prosperity in this other state, which is actually really big, and I need it. So... After this road is done, we might put a fort in. Let's see, do we put it in that province? Or Tyrone? In Tyrone, it would it would protect the devastation the same. No, I think we want it behind the strait. That way if anyone has to wants to aggress into it, they've gotta cross the strait, which is gonna be a bigger penalty than crossing a river or or whatever. Cool. Okay. Okay, the whole army is there. 70% now, about a year to go. We got churches popping out. The house of Fitzgerald is shaken. At this point, we care more about the, uh, the legitimacy for unrest, I think.
Sweden has no air. He's only 15, but something could happen there. Making six and a half ducats a month right now. This is actually really, really nice. Um, I mean, it's I'm not doing that great overall, and a ton of it is coming from more reps, which is is temporary. But hey, that's that's a lot of money coming out of England's pocket going into my development. I love it, love it, love it, love it. Alon seeds Novara to Savoy. Ouch, that's painful. One of the reasons why these guys in Italy do so well, is, as a, another example, is they have... Um, they all, not all, but many of them start off with universities, which increase literacy growth as well. And they also get an effect, a triggered modifier called... Uh, higher education, which not only reduces idea cost, but it also does the other thing there too. Education efficiency plus 10% and literacy growth countrywide. So it's really, really nice to have a university. At our size, to get that benefit, uh, to get the first tier benefit, you just need one. And then to get the second ben level benefit, you need to have 25 studies or less, which is obviously us, and then you need two. It's really expensive, though. I can't really afford to build a university. Okay, he's at 70%. I think we can afford to stay on no maintenance for a little while longer. Start saving up for that fort. Try to get this, uh, this devastation to go away. Otherwise, we're looking at... What? 7.1 divided by 0 0.08. It's going to take 88 months. Years. It's a long time. We could actually have prosperity pretty quick with our current ruler, too. Okay. And now inflation is dealt with. This is beautiful. Three roads coming out. Roads are awesome. 10% development time. And then the urbanization capacity modifier, blah, blah, blah. How's the capital looking these days? 12 and 8. Two years away from getting some agricultural growth there. Uh, recent growth in a bunch of places. Quite far off on that one. Cultivating wasteland here, but no recent growth. on the countrywide focus on uh, literacy growth so we can already see the effect here literacy in um, Leinster this is where we had the first church is at 2.686 and it's growing by 0.03 now and in pale we're only at 2.3 so it, it's we're already like pretty far behind now and we just need to get as many churches out there as we can they do take a lot of building slots though a bunch of stuff happened There's room, maybe, for the burghers to, to have another province or something, but they already have 40 influence control provinces, so more provinces won't matter. 1501, 1509, and 1513. Nope, they're just gonna be pissed for a long time. These guys, on the other hand, I need to get back up above 60. And. shame that would raise minimum province autonomy a little bit and I want this one to go to the burgers eventually I don't want to give it to the clergy now um let's see I mean, most of the income's coming from taxes already so I think that it's it's an okay province for them good I just see the full annexation of the Teutons yeah they're done they're gone and Mark has rivaled me. Okay. Let's do this. Let's fight. You want to fight? I'll fight you in real life. And we've got until August of 99 on our truce. 
1505 with Scotland. Next mission, protect against Denmark. I don't really want to train troops right now. Mm. I would require four more troops. That's a lot of that's a lot of troops just standing around doing nothing. On the other hand, this rebellion is going to be 8k, and I only have 8k, so it would be kind of nice to have a couple more. All right, fine. How long does it take me to recruit? Can I recruit? I can't. We'll just raise maintenance for one month so that we get rid of this uh, plus 100% recruitment speed. And then we can turn it right back off again. Okay, so I need four infantry. I don't have enough manpower for that just yet, but... Nice, okay, cool. New government policy is available. Okay. So we want inflation. <clears throat> we, we don't want inflation to be negative, but we don't want it to go crazy. If you let it go crazy, you end up sinking all of your admin into it, and the, the benefit gets um, smaller and smaller the further you go. I think that the, the most cost-effective benefit is between, like, having an annual inflation growth rate of about 0.05 to 0.05 is where I found it to be pretty good. Being at point, being at 0 to 0 0.05 gives you a 3% boost to the three things. And then being at 0 0.05 to 0 0.10 gives you a 6%. If you're above 0 0.10, it goes to an 8% bonus. So you start to see diminishing returns on it. And then after that, I, I've not let it get that high. That's kind of crazy. Now, the further away you are from the current one, the more it costs to move. I didn't realize that before. That's... That's a really cool way of pricing it. So I, I went straight all the way down there and spent a ton of points for something I probably shouldn't have. Okay, so do we currently have the effect still? No, I, again, I... Wait. Yeah, okay, so we do have it currently. And with it at point 10, we're going negative. I want to jump right to, to, to the 8%, so I'm going to go to, we should keep things stable. I don't want the development time penalty anymore, and I definitely don't want the unrest. I don't think development time is that important yet, because we don't really have great development speed, so let's go with medium. I think we do want to increase mercantilism. And uh, government... Government, bleh, words, government capacity, or governance capacities, they call it here. Uh, currently, we have the 10% one right here. And with 10%, we're at 59. I, I don't think that going to... Let's see. Hmm... What were the benefits again? 6%. So we get like 1%. It doesn't affect development. This one just affects your income mostly. I'm trying to think if I'd make more money by trying to shoot for the below 50 governance occupancy or if I would make more money by preventing the yearly corruption. Most the main the main effect is that the yearly corruption is something I'm paying like yeah I think the corruption is going to be more important. All right, seven ducats a month now. Cool. We got other people who like us. That works for me for now. I 
I actually didn't mean to click that. I meant to look at it. Oops. Okay, well, we just bought some admin points, which is fine, actually. We, we did need them. And this should adjust next month. We'll immediately get the benefits of inflation. Okay, governance efficiency went down slightly. So we lost like 1% on those. And inflation is still going down? Why? What? I'm confused. I took the one in the middle, so why is inflation going down at all? Our advisors and our ideas is increased by... No reliance on gold mine. Yearly base is 0.01. Advisors, buildings, and ideas. Do I have an idea that's reducing inflation? I don't think I do. Okay, so yearly inflation reduction, current policy 0.1. No, I, I don't have the current policy. I got rid of that, didn't I? I could have sworn I clicked it. Didn't I? I clicked the one that wasn't that. I clicked the one to keep it not that way. That's really weird. That actually makes this one, like, kind of bad, unless unless you are, like, really wanting inflation reduction. I, I'm really surprised by that. I thought that we were going to have uh, positive inflation when I changed it. So, all right, well, I'm going to take a break here. Um, maybe poke around a little bit more, see if I can figure out why that happened. But uh, thanks for watching. As always, I hope you guys are enjoying the campaign. I'm, I don't know if I mentioned this recently or not, but I uh, I really like this mod. This this is, like, this is like renewing, it's reinvigorating my interest in, in EU4. Not that it was ever gone, it's just... It's just amazing. It's just such a good mod. It, it's amazing. So, as always, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next episode. See you soon.